Unit 2. Our amazing body. I will separate this lesson into two sessions. For today's session, we are going to study about skeletal system, muscular system, digestive system, and respiratory system. When he is doing a back arch like this, different organ system in his body are working together. Could you tell me which organ systems work together to allow him to bend his body? Which organ system supports his body? Okay, we'll explore it one by one. First is skeletal system. When we do the activity like this, the skeletal system in our body is the one that supports the entire parts of the body to move. Skeletal and muscular system work together. There are about 206 bones in human body. These are called as ligaments, while these are tendons. Tendons and ligaments connect to bones on either side of the joint, so we can move like this. Okay, so this is our body. The top one is called as the skull. This is mandible, clavicle, sternum, ribs, pelvis, femur, tibia, and fibula. Okay, now you have seen so many bones in our body. Our hands itself has about 27 bones. Our skeletal system has the function to support our body, gives our body shape, and protects the delicate organs in our body. Muscular system. What is the function of our muscular system? We make use our muscles when we walk, run, and jump. Our muscles are the part of our muscular system. Our muscular system allows us to move different parts in our body. Muscular and skeletal system work together. There are several important muscles in our body. They are skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and the smooth muscle. Now, please try hold the book and then move your hand. Can you feel the muscles in your upper arm? Digestive system 
The length of the digestive system is about 9 meters. Can you imagine how long it is? We eat the food to give our body nutrients that are needed, such as the carbohydrates, fat, proteins, and vitamins. We need to eat healthy food and drink water about 1.5 liters in a day. Do you know that the food that we eat is not just like that be circulated as the blood in our body? Our body needs to digest it first. The food first will be chewed and changed to be smaller particles in our mouth by our teeth and the enzymes and then it is brought to the esophagus. There is esophageal tissue that do the peristaltic movement and then it will bring the food into the stomach. Food will be changed into smaller particles inside of the stomach by the help of the enzymes and also the peristaltic movement. The useful nutrients will be circulated in our body and gives our body the nutrients that are needed. While the unuseful parts will go out through the rectum and anus. Respiratory system What are the functions of our respiratory system? Respiratory system has the functions to transport air into and out of lungs, protecting the chains in health particles, exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. These are the respiratory system components. Start from nasal cavity, nose, oral cavity, tongue, pharynx, larynx, esophagus, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and diaphragm. Inside of bronchioles, they are called as the alveoli.
The breathing process is started when we inhale in the air into our nose. And then the air will be brought to our trachea. Inside of the epiglottis, that is the valve epiglottis that will be opened and closed automatically. The air then goes to the capillaries around each alveoli. And then here, it is filtered so only the oxygen that will be circulated to our body. So here is the exchange process happens. The carbon dioxide then goes out from our body. This breathing process causing the movement in our body, our diaphragm will be up and down because of this.